Hello everyone, Fiorim here. In this series of videos I'm gonna build a new mega base. I have some pretty interesting and huge plans for it. I mean the whole thing is going to be pretty big. But before I get there I need to do something else that I have planned for quite some time and that is to actually get those geothermal generators going. So in case you don't know, you unlock these power plants in the MAM with the Caterium research. And you obviously need to have found Caterium before this and also will need supercomputers, heavy modular frames and rubber so it's quite a late game power source. But once you have unlocked it you just go and set up the geothermal generators on the gauges on the map. Hook them up to your power grid and you are good to go so it is really one of the easiest if not the easiest power source in the game. There's a total of 3 in pure, 6 normal and 9 pure gauges on the map and you will get a total energy production of 4500 megawatts on average from them. So let's go and get them. Well, here we go. I really like hoverback exploring with these power poles. I think that's the easiest way to uh, explore new places in the game and also you can avoid most of the monsters this way. Obviously the ones you need to clear you need to clear still but the ones you don't you can just hop over unless they are those speeders. And I guess, yeah, I need to clear these two monsters as well. So, let's go. I don't really like these guys, these are uh, super annoying and always hit you from behind, somehow. You could actually use a rifle for this as well, but I don't really mind losing a bit of health now, so I'll just go with, with my senior pressure. Oh, and there's another one here as well. Those are kinda easy. And yeah, I guess yeah we need to clear the other one as well, it's on top of it. Oh well. There we go. So all cleared now we just build the generator. Obviously need to rotate it for a bit to find the perfect angle. Well, that will do it. Okay and that's the first one done. So uh, now our energy production went up for a bit and we have one less to do. And the next generator is out of my base, still pretty close. So I can just easily build my hover pole set up there as well. And here it is. No monster this time either, so let's just build it. And there we go. Easy. Now we are going to get two more from the rocky desert, which is east of where we were before. Is actually very close to where my coal setup is or one of them so I have my train track unfortunately now clipping a bit through this uh, generator but I hope you don't mind so that was the first one and the next one I actually spent some time trying to find I don't know why I was so blind but it was apparently right next to the first one so after these two it's four out of 18 done And now the uh, target is uh, area east of the northern forest. There's quite a lot of gases back there. And you can actually see on the screen, uh, I have done a lot of hardback exploring. I, for example, got all the uh, hard drives on the map with those. So there's a lot of these pre-built lines already that I can just fly with my hardback, which is of course nice when exploring new areas. Of course, sometimes I need to uh, go to completely new locations and just draw some new poles but the good thing is that they will be there when I need to go to this place again maybe in the future now we should be getting close I think yeah there it is so number five down Number 
six is just a short halfback flight to the south. So I'll, as usual, just follow the power pole route and uh, build whatever I need to build to get there. And yes, here we are at number six. Seven and eight are also very close in the same area in the northern forest. So there's not much else to say about them. I actually noticed when I got there that I had already built one power generator or geothermal generator there previously when I just happened to be around them and had the materials to build one. But now we are building the second one as well and we are 8 out of 18 done. The gauge number 9 is also very close by, and also another one that I actually noticed when I got there that I had already built it before, but here it is. And next there are two more generators in the rocky desert area, and here you can see another benefit of using the uh, horseback exploring, you can very easily go up and down these hills instead of like building foundations or whatever you would otherwise do. Here we just build a couple of power poles. And there is our gator number one in this area. And the other one should be close by... Yeah, there it is. Alright, two are uh, done. So the next two are in the swamp and this would actually normally make me sort of anxious if I wasn't doing hour pack exploration because the swamp is one of the most nasty biomes in the game. There's a lot of poison everywhere, there's spiders. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area, proceed with harvest before it's too late. Apparently also creepy sounds coming from the artifacts, but we can ignore all of that pretty much once we are doing the hoverpack stuff, which is nice. But here we actually have an alpha spirit that we can't ignore, it's blocking our here, so we have to kill it, so I'm just using my rifle, playing it safe here. I find this is, even though it takes a while, this is the safest way to kill these guys. Just need to dodge their fireballs. At least they don't do melee this way. Takes a lot of hits though. This doesn't really hit for hard at all. Another option is to throw nobelists at them. But I sometimes do as well. There we go. And that's two more generators done. And then we have three more in the coral cliffs, which is a lot more pleasant area after the swamp. These are also close to each other, so they are really easy to get. So, only two more to go after this. Most done. Finally we have two more pure grazes left, these are both in the southern forest, again next to each other. And 
and thus we have collected them all. 18 gases. I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it useful. Stay tuned for the next video in the series where I will actually start building the new mega factory. See you soon!